Happy Monday, and we're back and excited to be talking with Tech Launch Pad today live from America's largest tech showcase, CES. Now, during this week, they'll be revealing what's coming up in the tech industry and a whole lot more. Joining us is Kristen Bean. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Kelly. So tell us what's happening now. We talked to Kristen a little bit earlier, and they were just setting up booths and things like that. It's kind of early, but what's happening at this moment? Yeah, still early. We're seeing more and more booths being set up, a lot of things being brought out of the boxes and onto the shelves, so it's really neat to see. Well, uh, you've got a couple products that you want to show off. They've been walking around seeing what's going on, what's new, and they're going to show us a couple things right now. Yeah, you guys are seeing these for the first time ever here for day one. So over here we have the Enchroma sunglasses, which are great for those that whether you're colorblind or you just want to see clearer and brighter vision because they actually have a special lens system that enhances the hue so you're able to see colors that you would never see before which is pretty neat i haven't seen anything like that on the market before now did you put them on and try them i did so i'm personally not colorblind but i did <laughs> notice the blues and the greens seemed much brighter which was really awesome that is really neat it's like increasing the saturation through sunglasses Exactly, right through the lens built in. I love it. What do you have next? So this next one is called the Sensu brush. And I thought it was really neat because, you know, a lot of apps are coming out right now where you're able to draw and sketch. So this one's actually made with synthetic hair. Oh, so wow. it's going to give you that realistic painting touch when you're doing all those drawings on your iPad. And you'll notice it's so slim and lightweight, so you just put it right in your pocket or your purse. Oh, really interesting. I think maybe a lot of kids will like that, too. I know parents sometimes hand it over and they're like, here, take this, and they draw and do all of those things. That's a very good point. Good tool. All right, what's next? Okay, so I love this one. You know, it's kind of <laughs> going back old school. Yeah. We're all hooked onto our, our iPhones or any other sort of mobile device. But this is for those of us that, you know, want to kind of keep it classy. This is the retro handset from Swiss Voice. And we have the blue model, but it's available in red, purple, pink, a ton of different colors. And you're able to control volume and answer and end the call. So, I mean, good to use at home maybe. So you're, when you're on those long calls, it's comfortable. Maybe not when you're on the streets, but still neat. Can you imagine seeing people <laughs> walking around like on the street with that thing? I'm sure someone will do it. <laughs> yeah, it will turn some heads. <laughs> That's really funny. Do you have anything else for us? One more okay. over here. So a lot of new iPhone cases were being released in 2012. So these are the first time we're showing these from Ballistic in 2013. It's their Aspira cases. And you know what? I like them because a lot of protective cases are bulky and all black. These still keep your phone protected from up to a six-foot drop. But look wow. at those pretty colors. Oh, we yeah. got the pink, the green, and the pink. So it doesn't mean that it has to be you know, not so good looking, but still protect your case. There you go. I like that. Okay. So, so far, what is the most surprising thing that you've seen? So far, I've been really surprised to see right over here we have, and we'll probably bring it over later, it's a table that's a computer. So they pretty much set it up where the monitor is face down. So when you're sitting at your table, it's touch screen to use it just as a computer also. Okay. I'm thinking Iron Man when you tell me that is what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, like a superhero would use it. That's really <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, we can't wait to see what else you guys have for us. Make sure to stick with us, everybody, because we're getting live coverage from Tech Launchpad at CES this whole week long and every hour of good days. So we're all in for a treat. You guys can find out more information at techlaunchpad.com, and we'll see Kristen Bean in just a little bit again. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kelly. All right, on over to you, Chris. We're back and excited to be talking with Tech Launch Pad today live from America's largest tech showcase, CES. And during this week, they'll be revealing what's coming up in the tech industry, plus a whole lot more. And joining us is Kristen Bean. Good morning. We're glad to see you again, Kristen. Good morning, Kelly. Okay, so you're, we're actually getting to see kind of what CES looks like here um, as they're doing a little pan for us. I mean, it just it looks very techy. It looks very sleek and modern. So how are things looking right now? It's really exciting because it's so early on here. You guys are seeing all of this for the first time before people are even coming in. And I know in our last segment, we talked about this computer yes. table. We'll run it over and show it to you. It's really neat because of the touch screen and you're able to just activate everything right from the computer itself. But it also serves as a table. That's amazing. Yeah. So we're going to come back over to show you some of the other stuff. Okay. Had. Now, the first one over here is really neat because it's from the company Marshall, and you might recognize this from their famous amplifiers. Now they've built it into a 50-year anniversary speaker. Wow. And 
it's actually was only 10,000 of them were made. So really limited edition for you. And you just plug in your MP3 player and then you get that really loud sound. Okay, that's really fun, especially for people who like more vintage-y, retro things. That is a, a really great piece. Yeah, it'll definitely complement your home. But for those of us that maybe want some more newer, futuristic-looking speakers, this is from A-Case. Oh, wow. It's called their Black Diamond. And the way it works is you actually have this little remote right here, so you're able to control the volume and the track. But when you play your music, it actually flashes the lights to the ah. beats of the song. So it's pretty neat. So I love you know, it. Very cool, right? And actually, right here, the way that we're plugging this in from the booth, is another item from that company, iWalk. It's called their Extreme 7500, and you just plug it right in via USB to power up devices, and it's also cool because it has this little built-in flashlight for you also. Oh my goodness, that's helpful, especially for people in, in the tech industry crawling around in those little spaces behind desks and things like that where you really <laughs> sometimes need a flashlight. Oh, most definitely. It's small enough to just slide in your pocket. Oh, yeah. Now, this next one is not so small, but that's what <laughs> makes it so neat. Um, solar panels were really big in 2012, but most of them are kind of like handheld. So this is the Sunbolt Gomatic, which, of course, you're going to notice is huge, but that's the whole point with it. It actually doubles as a carrying case oh, for wow. you, and then you just set it up outdoors, plug in your device, and then you're able to take the energy from the sun to power up your devices, too, and then just slide in your laptop, your cell phone, into that pocket and wear it to walk around. So you think that would be something that people could kind of take maybe if they go camping or hiking or skiing or who knows? Exactly. Anytime when you're spending like a few days outdoors and you need to still stay connected to friends and family. That's fantastic. That's a really great invention. Yeah, I personally love it. I think it's the next big thing in solar chargers. Well, you guys got one more for us. Laura, we've got another case for you. You know, we talked about the extreme rugged cases, and this is another, the extreme iPhone 5 from Geform. And these guys are actually pretty famous for doing some drop test videos. They actually just this week dropped an iPod Touch from space in this wow. case, and it it protected. So I have my own iPhone 5 in here, and I'm just going to drop it and not worry about a thing <laughs> because three layers of protection. Wow. So even little drops like that will be fine. That is very helpful. We sure appreciate you guys keeping us in the know and showing us all the things that are going to be talked about at CES. You guys make sure to stick with Good Day because we'll be getting live coverage from Tech Launchpad all week in every hour of Good Day. So we're very excited to see what's happening. And uh, so we feel like we're actually there with you guys. Thank you so much again. TechLaunchpad.com if you'd like more information. And we'll talk to you tomorrow, Kristen. Thanks, Kelly. All right. We're going to uh, be... Uh, back with a more good day when we come right back.